Welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you the examination of the posterior segment using a, nine, a super field lens. So uh, here we go in for slit lamp examination. The first thing which you want to see in this patient is how is your disc. So this is the optic disc which you see so cup disc ratio is about 0 0.2 but there seems to be some fibrous tissue coming around this area and there's some abnormal blood vessels in this area. So this patient was a diabetic patient. Let's clear this and go forward. And he had this area of whitish band which you can see over here. So this is an area of tractional band. So this is a patient's right eye. So what you're seeing is an upside down picture of the patient. So this is the temporal side. So this is the nasal side. So what you're seeing is this fibrous band actually has been formed after an area of, because this is within one third disc diameter, so this would can constitute as starting as from as NVD. It could actually could have started from this area, but it would be in that category. But what has happened is initially you would have new vascularization and then that changes into fibrous tissue. So, and also this patient, you also see this area of pre-retinal hemorrhage over this area and usually this seems to be an area of NVE in this patient. So, this gives you that appearance of a sort of semi-lunar semi type of appearance when we see through the uh, slit examination as you go through. So, now we will go through the video and see. So, this is the boat shape hemorrhage which, um, talk, so it's not typically that boat shape hemorrhage but it is something which looks like this but it is present periphery to the uh, infratemporal vessels and usually tends to be seen in patients with uh, proliferative diabetic retinopathy. So what you want to see now is, let's just go forward slightly and stop over here. Now you want to study what is the pattern of this. So this is the neovascularization over here. And these are hemorrhages on top of that new vascularization. So this is that new vascularization and this new vascularization has actually started from this area. And you can see some fibers of the new vascularization. This is the fibrous tissue around it. And obviously there's area where it is bleeding over this area and this area and this is where it is produced that uh, pre-retinal large type of hemorrhage in this patient. The question would be, would you put an intravitreal avastin into this patient or any anti-VGF for this patient? The question is no, you will not because this patient will have increased fibrosis if you do that. So that is one patient in which you would not do that uh, uh, strategy. So going forward, let's see uh, if there's, if you can visualize that inferior area of hemorrhage, which you can see over there, this area and the, along the infratemporal vessels. The reason I'm showing you uh, on this is so that you can visualize what you will be seeing on an IT adapter or a superfield examination while you're taking an examination. Thank you very much for watching.